Hello my beauties and welcome to the channel Skincare with Asikia Iyala. Of course, I am Asikia Iyala. Today guys, I am back with another exciting video and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your goat milk lotion at home, which is very easy, very affordable. You can buy all the ingredients that I'll be using here today online. You can buy them on Amazon, you can buy them on AliExpress and uh, like I said, they are very affordable. Now I've got my ingredients laid out here already and I'll be walking you guys through on each and every one of them. And um, today I decided to share my ingredients into three phases so that you guys will understand what I'll be doing here today. I'm just so tired of questions. <laughs> I have to whisper that because I don't know why every time I point out, you guys still come back and ask me the same questions. So I'm going to share it into three phases so you will understand what I'll be doing. Now this lotion is meant for all skin types. It doesn't matter what kind of skin type you have. It doesn't matter what kind of skin tone you have. It is for all skin type. Now, um, in addition, I'll be showing you guys um, some lightening agents that you can add. You can add, not in mine, because like I said, this lotion is meant for all skin tones. It's not for one skin tone. So, um, in addition, I'll be showing you guys, just in case you have any kind of hyperpigmentation, you want to treat or acne scars, spots, then you can add the additional uh, ingredient that I'll be showing you guys. Now, one other thing I need to point out is that this lotion is not meant for kids. Every other lotions that I've made here on YouTube, please do not use them on your child. Go do the right thing. Buy what is meant for your child, please. And if you want me to make a video on how you can make a lotion for your child, then please leave me a comment on my comment section and I will make a video on that. Well, I've made that clear. Now you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook. Preferably, I would suggest you follow me on Instagram. That's the easiest way you can reach me. And don't get mad at me when you send me a message and I don't reply on time. I have other stuff that I'm doing in my life. And sometimes it takes me three days, uh, five days or one week to reply back to messages. Because you are not the only one sending me messages. So... Yeah, I'm trying to reach out to everyone as well. Um, yeah, that's all I need to say. So let's begin this video. I don't want this video to be too long because you guys are always complaining. Oh, your video is too long. Make it short. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, yeah, let's begin. Out to the most important thing you need to know when you want to start your cream making or soap making. The first thing you need to know is everything that you will be using has to be 99.9% .9 clean. Your containers, they have to be very clean. Your bottle or whatever you want to use to store your cream once, once you're done, it has to be very clean. What you need to do is to wash them. If you have a dishwasher, put them in the dishwasher, which is very good. And then spray it with um, alcohol. Um, don't be bothered about the alcohol because it's going to evaporate. So yeah, the reason why you're doing this is to make sure everything is super clean, free from any microorganism or any kind of bacteria because you don't want to make the lotion and within three days or four days or five days, they will go bad. They will start to form molds and yeast and all the bad stuff. So you want to keep everything super clean. Now you need a distilled water and Please do not use any water from the tap. That will cause your cream to go bad. So I wouldn't even want to advise you to get water from the tap, boil it and do all that shit. It's to me it's still not it's still not safe to use. So yeah, that's my first uh, the first stage that I have here, stage one. And the next thing you need is your goat milk powder. Now I'm going to be leaving um, not a link, I'm going to be writing down everything on my description box and also on my comment section. You can find the measurement of everything I'll be using here. So you need um, a goat milk powder and then you need Alan Tone. Now the key thing you need to know when you're making a lotion is that you want to make your lotion to be super, super moisturizing. You don't want to apply a lotion that is really dry. Even if you get to mix the oils and uh, the water, if you apply them without using good quality stuff, 
then your skin will not gain any benefits from the lotion so you need all the super super good stuff now i'll be using alantone which is very safe for the skin this can keep your skin moist all day and it has other benefits as well i won't be going through all of that i'm going to be like i said leaving everything on my screen for you to read now i've got here aloe vera aloe vera is also very calming for the skin very nice for the skin it's packed with antioxidants that's the key you need your skin to gain more antioxidants all the time and um, I've got here glycerin. This is vegetable glycerin. I don't know if you guys can see this. I've got my lights behind, so. <laughs> yeah, this is phase one. And now phase two is where you get your waxes and your oils. Like I said, the key thing to a good lotion is using the right stuff. Using good stuff is the key. If you want people to buy your product, if you are making this product to sell and you want people to buy your product, make sure you're using ingredients that are really super hydrating for the skin. Good oils for the skin. Now I've got here my e-wax. Without the e-wax, you can't make your lotion. This is what binds the oils and the water together. So you need e-wax. I've also got here some kind of emulsifying wax, but this emulsifying wax is a conditioner. This will condition your skin, make it really supple, nice, plumpy, and all the good stuff. Like I said, I'll be leaving it on my screen for you to read. I'm also going to be adding mango butter. This is also very suitable for all skin type, all skin tones as well. Now, don't be scared if you have oily skin. Don't think, oh, if I apply this on my skin, it's going to be bad. No, this can't clog your pores at all because these are natural oils. They are best the best oils that you can ever find in the market right now so um if you don't want to use all of these oils that i'll be showing you guys here today there is no problem you can pick one or two oils that you know it's suitable for your skin and you can use it but it's always nice to combine different oils just to get more benefits in your lotion now uh, i've got here the cocoa butter i'll be using cocoa butter as well i've got here the ham seed oil i've got here the castro oil as well i'm using this and um yeah this is my face two now in my face three let me move this here i'll be using a preservative yeah and i will be using the white gram oil which is very suitable for the skin this this oil is an amazing oil guys and I'll be using some parts of um, vitamin E as well, which is really good for healing. And I'll be using some drops of lavender essential oil. And I'll be using the white tea extract as well. So this is my face tree of what I'll be using today. Now, if you want to add an additional stuff into your lotion, like I said, this lotion is meant for all skin type. I'm not going to be putting this into my lotion because I'm making this lotion for a friend and she's a Caucasian, she's a white person, and I don't think she wants to lighten up her skin or treat any high kind of hyperpigmentation. So I'm not going to include this, but I'm going to show you what you need to do just in case you want to include this in your lotion if you have any kind of hyperpigmentation. Now, this is a vitamin C powder. This is pure vitamin C powder you can add this into your lotion now if you're wondering the percentage you need to put I would suggest you even if you want to go through or you want to use my uh, complete calculation uh, of my recipe then you'll be making my batch if you want to make a large batch then you need to okay I'm gonna go into my laptop and show you guys what I'm talking about I'll include this in the video you need to know the percentage of the whole batch you want to make let me say for example you want to make um, a lotion of uh, five liters there is um, a calculation uh, website I will show you guys you put the five liters and then start to put the ingredients that you want to include in your uh, what is it called in your lotion when you click calculate it's going to give you the percentage you're supposed to put in your five liters I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done with this I hope I won't forget <laughs> okay um, yeah so you can add um, alpha apatine you can add um, uh, kojak acid kojak acid diplomy tea you can add the liquorice as well these are lightening agents that can lighten up your skin treat your hyperpigmentation it can give you two to three shades uh, lighter 
and please when you're buying your stuff please buy from a good distributor or from a good uh, company because some of these companies they have, have been a victim to that i bought some stuff they were all fake and they didn't do anything for my skin so you need to know about that now that i am done with showing you guys what i have laid out here already i will move on to the next step now i forgot to show you guys one thing that you need you need um a temperature tester because most of this stuff here needs to be tested you can't mix your cream when the temperature is not accurate you need to have an accurate temperature to be able to mix and the accurate temperature is 170 you can't go above or below 170 now one other thing I need to show you guys is the alantone here alantone needs to be um, diluted separately before you can add it into your face one I will show you guys what I'm talking about so let's begin let me <laughs> turn this camera around so guys I've got all my ingredients laid out here not all but this is the first batch or the first phase and the second phase now in here I've got my goat milk powder I've got my alantone powder and I've got my glycerin and also the um, um, what is it called aloe vera gel in here I've got my cocoa butter I've got my um, uh, what else uh, mango butter as well I've got my castor oil in here I've got my ham seed oil and my roshi oil in here I've got my emulsifying wax and I've also got my emulsifying conditioning wax which is the BM which is a BTMS 225 so and I've got here my major uh, measured out water already and this is two cups which is uh, 16 ounces of water and yeah so um, what I need to do right now the first step is to get this to heat in a temperature of 170 and um, I'm going to pour in I hope you guys can see what I'm doing So I'm going to pour in here my oils, okay, that's my solid oils, okay, and also my waxes in here, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, okay, it's not easy to film alone. <laughs> So um, I'm going to also add in my liquid oils as well. So the whole idea is to get these to uh, heat the oils and the wax. I'm gonna put them right now with the water into my double boiling pot and um, while I am waiting for them to heat I'm going to mix this because you have to mix this separately before you can mix it into the water so let me put these right now into my double boiling pot so guys um, this is my double boiling method you have to do this um, I would prefer you do this rather than putting it in the microwave just for the safer to be on the safer side so this is my oil and waxes and this is my water so let's move on to the next step the heat here just to get everything done quickly it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while maybe in the next five to ten minutes but I'll keep I'll bring you guys back here so you can see what's going on I don't want you guys to be left out 
<laughs> all right let me put this video on pause <clears throat> so guys um as you can see my temperature here is um dropping and going higher but i'm going to reduce the heat yeah i'm going to reduce the heat because we don't want it more than 170 i'm going to start mixing and i would turn my um stove a little bit low so it doesn't get high anymore and i'll begin the mixture with the alan tone and also the goat milk powder so keep watching so now i will add i need a separate spoon So I will add in my Alantum powder, but please guys, uh, make sure your Alantum powder is completely dissolved before you add it in, okay? okay? Okay, that's my Alantum in there, and I will add in my goat milk powder. Let me stir it a little bit. Oh my God, I'm making a mess here. So I am adding in my goat milk powder. Ooh. Oh my God. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Anyways, it's not too much. Well, I have to be careful next time. This is not so good because I have my camera here so I'm trying to it's not easy to film alone oh my god so guys we want to hold this temperature at least uh, for 20 minutes because we don't want any kind of bacteria in our milk you know milk can go bad easily so if you don't keep the milk in this temperature for up to 20 minutes then you'll be doing something really bad so you want to hold for 20 minutes okay guys so this is my oils and my wax fully melted ready for me to add it into my liquid mixture here so I'm just gonna wait for 20 minutes and I will put this video on pause and get back after 20 minutes okay guys so guys um, I want to point out to you guys to always check your temperature because you don't want it to go below 170 Okay, it's been 20 minutes already and I will now add in my waxes and also my oils and let me get the glove here. Okay. So While you are adding in your oils, you want to stir. I hope I'm not going to make more messes. <laughs> yeah. You want to stir this in. Like so. So, make sure that you're adding in your oils at the same temperature which is the which is the um, 170 and I'm gonna use my stick blender to blend everything in just getting all the additional oils here all well, time that I didn't make any mess anymore <laughs> anyways now guys when you get to this stage don't be scared if your um, lotion is not forming yet this is normal it will take time for it to form which is emulsifying and just don't be scared okay so now I'm going to add in my aloe vera and glycerin into my mixture
and I would use my stick blender to blend everything in. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So it takes time for the cream to form, and once it starts to cool down, you will see the formation of the cream, which is the emulsifying wax, bringing in the water and the oil together. So I have to wait a little bit and I will bring you guys once I'm ready. <clears throat> I just want to come back here and show you guys what it looks like right now. As you can see the cream is forming already. It is getting uh, thicker. Yeah. And like I said, it's uh, emulsifying wax doing its job. Bringing the oil and the water together. So... Now this process can take up to 30 minutes for it to fully form. In some cases, uh, it will take a longer time depending on the batch you're making. If you're making a very small quantity, then it will emulsify very easily. And if you have like a large quantity or a large batch, then <laughs> expect it to emulsify for a long time, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour overnight depending on your quantity okay guys so i'm going to bring you back and show you what it will look like in the next um 20 minutes or 30 minutes and i have to show you guys the temperature because let me see here because we have to let the temperature drop for uh, about uh, 140 yeah temperature has to drop 140 it's not there yet this is 146 so we have to wait a little bit and then I will come back and show you guys the next step okay guys um, the temperature has dropped and um, it's time to add in our face tree into our mixture and right here I've got my wheat jam oil which is one of the best the best oils you can find in the market and um, I will be adding in one tablespoon of the wheat jam oil into my mixture. Okay. So I'm going to be adding my vitamin E into my mixture and I will be adding one teaspoon of the vitamin E. Okay. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Vitamin E is very nourishing for the skin and you don't want to put your vitamin E in a very hot temperature. So this is the best time to add it. And then I will be adding in my white tea extract. Okay, let me hold this very well. Yeah, this is a white tea extract, and I'm using um, a teaspoon as well. Oh, I'm always making what's wrong with me today? I'm just making messes here and there. It's not so good. Am I nervous? Okay. So you have to stir while you are adding them in. And 
I will be putting lavender essential oil as well just to give it some lovely nice uh, smell and also to benefit from what it can offer I don't like to use uh, fragrance in my lotions because fragrance are not so good for your skin so you want to stay away from that and I'm using half a teaspoon of the lavender right here let me show it to you guys yeah so I'm using half a teaspoon of that in there so the last thing I need to put is my preservative yeah I'm, I'm not gonna put it now I have to wait a little bit before I would add this in so I'm back again and um, I'm just gonna get one more kick with my stick blender just a little bit okay this is fully mixed you want to have everything well mixed into the lotion so well it's always best to get um, a stick blender that way you are not doing things manually and somehow I believe that when you use stick blender it's like you get this milky consistency which is actually good for the emulsifier so it can emulsify very well yeah temperature is still very warm and I don't want to put this in the refrigerator I want to wait and do it in the right way okay so guys I'm back just want to show you guys the process as you can see it is forming and still have some minutes more for it to fully form it's time for me to add my preservative and I will be adding just a teaspoon of my preservative so this is a teaspoon yeah hope I won't make messes I've been making messes today I don't know what's wrong with me my hands are shaking oh my god can you see that <laughs> okay this is a teaspoon now the reason why I am adding it now is because the temperature is at the right stage you don't want to put your preservative when your temperature is still high so you get to mix everything properly really well so you get to mix everything properly really well so it can incorporate into the lotion okay let me keep this aside and this is what my cream looks like right now well 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 I'm back again and it's still forming and I don't have all day so what I've decided to do is to quickly take a little portion of this excuse me guys and put it in the refrigerator and um, show you guys what it will look like after it forms because I don't have all day to wait I have got stuff other stuff to do so um, let me get some and put it right here it's, it's almost forming though I'm not patient my husband is even calling already Hi, babe. Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, is it time? I'm still making my video and it's taking forever. So. I, no, I'm, uh, I just finished my second appraisal. I'm in Oshkosh right now. Okay. And I was in Rip earlier. And I. Oh, sorry for the interruption. Um, so guys, I'm gonna toss this into the refrigerator just to show you guys what the finished product will look like Because I don't I have stuff to do. My husband is just calling already. So yeah Let me put this in the refrigerator then I will continue from there So while I am waiting for 
the small batch to get cool so you see the finished product I'm going to put these into my um, containers let me show you guys what I have here so this is a container that I'll be using and it has to be very clean you need to spray it with alcohol I've got here my alcohol so the reason why you do this is for for your own good <laughs> just to get out every dirt microorganism bacteria anything that can cause your lotion to go bad so you want to keep it super clean yeah including the lid you have to clean it very very well so I'm going to so I'm going to pour this in here And if the temperature is still not down, please don't cover the lid. Just leave it away. Just leave it open so it can um, cool. So the temperature will drop before you can cover it with the lid. So guys, one thing I want to point out to you guys is at this stage, you want to make sure that the temperature is really really calm before you can use your lid to cover the lotion otherwise it's going to go bad so be patient and wait for a um, few more minutes uh, hours I don't know <laughs> I don't know the quantity of your batch that you'll be making but just make sure that the temperature is fully calm before you can close otherwise you will be inviting bacteria to your lotion so this is one um, batch. Okay. And I've got the other one here. Just gonna spray and then wipe with the tissue. Like so. And also the lid. I'm gonna keep everything super super clean okay and then turn this in here to show you guys the finished product but this is not working for me I have other stuff to do that's my lotion and guys if you notice any bubbles on the top of your lotion you just want to spray a little bit of alcohol just to remove that bubble on the top yeah don't be scared to do this it won't have any harmful effects on your skin because you're not incorporating it into the product and it's going to evaporate so that's all you need to do yeah and um, I think I have something to show you guys so just in case you want to sell just in case you want to sell your product you can buy one of these on Amazon it's um, a sticker so it comes like this so all you need to do is to stick it by the side of your container or your bottle or whatever pretty and then you can write <clears throat> I hope you guys can see what I'm doing I don't want to turn this around anyways you can write whatever you want to write homemade lotion 
uh, goat milk, body lotion, whatever you want to write, just write your number, your contact for people to reach you, and that's it. So guys, um, this is what my cream will look like once it is fully solidified. And I don't have time, and <laughs> my apologies guys, I just have to go. And um, yeah, I mean it's almost there, as you can see from here, it is almost uh, forming yeah just a little bit more it will get to this stage so yeah um thanks for watching if you like my video please give it a thumbs up so in my next video i'll be showing you guys how you can make your facial scrub and cleanser as well so don't forget to subscribe hit on the notification bell let me blend this into my skin show you guys what it looks like it's really really hydrating very nice for the skin yeah and um like i said in my next video i'll be showing you guys how you can make your facial cleanser with some exfoliant in it and that will be the jojoba beads so you don't want to miss on the next video if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell as well so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video so i have to point out to you guys that please at this stage do not put your lid on your um cream yet you have to wait until the temperature is fully on zero degree <laughs> before you can put on your lid otherwise your cream will go bad so bear that in mind yeah so like i will always say if it doesn't feed you do not water it bye for now guys and stay blessed this is the full setting and where you can calculate your measurement now up here you have to name your recipe which is the goat milk lotion and you have to put the total bash that you want to make so i'm making one i'm going to put one and then right here you're going to put all of the ingredients that you'll be using to make your lotion and the percentage of what you want but the percentage has to be um 100 it has to be 100 percent and um, once you are done adding in all of your um, ingredients like your distilled water, powdered uh, goat milk, vegetable glycerin, alanton, and so on and so forth, you now screw down here and you can add any notes if you want to. And um, once you click here on calculate, it will now help you to calculate all of your um, measurements now you've got the measurement here if you want them in ounces um, pounds whatever you want it will just give you the calculation and that's it <sighs> i hope you guys understand what i'm saying <laughs> because i'm tired i had a busy day today well, that's all you need to know. And if you're not clear, please try and reach out to me. Come down to my comment section and um, I'm going to put you through or make a separate video on this particular topic. So, guys, that's it. You need to know.